texting me. And you know, people from people who randomly start texting you that they went to school with you, they be like, you know, I had a crush on you back in um in elementary school or middle school. I've had that happen to me a few times. Me and this one person, we went to school together from elementary school to middle school. And somehow, some way, oh, I had a crush on you when we was in middle school. No, the fuck you didn't. No, the fuck you didn't. Because you like, why is you lying? What are you lying about? I'm confused. Hey guys, um, welcome back to another little vloggy vlog. The time right now is honestly, what time is it? It is Sunday, February 25th, 11.01. And yeah, so the only, the reason why you see half of my face is because I have a blister on my lip. And that shit just snuck up on me, like, right? Like, it did not show any signs of coming on Friday, where I could have just got rid of it that same day. Um, but usually when it comes, I'm obviously getting a cold. So, yeah, and it's a seasonal thing. So it's switching from cold to springtime. So yeah, that usually when I don't know. But y'all yeah, only going to see half of my face. And hopefully, by tomorrow, this shit will be gone. Because I got me some... Yeah. So, I was so mad because yesterday, this whole last week that just passed was homecoming. And on Saturdays, they have the homecoming basketball game. Girls, women's, and men's. And we, I usually go to the men's basketball, the girls in the, in the um, boys' basketball game. I usually go sit, and then afterwards I go and stay outside because it's also suites. That's like the fraternities and sororities. They have their own little designated area on campus where they host like a, a like a party and stuff. And then you know some of them be on a plot, and then it was cold outside. What the fuck? I'm like, y'all not cold? And then people was coming outside with no clothes on, like skirts. Like, I mean, hoes don't get cold. If you drinking and the liquor making you hot, you hot. So the air don't even bother you. But on the other hand, me, I was cold. And we stood, me and my friend, we stood because we know somebody from the, um, from the fraternity Alpha, Phi Alpha fraternity. We know somebody who's in that fraternity, obviously. And we stood there because they had the fire going. We stood around. But then after a while, a lot of people came. And I'm like, you know what? I'm finna head out. And plus, I don't live on campus. I don't live on the immediate campus where everything was going on. Obviously, because they put me off campus. So I got to catch the shuttle. And the shuttle stops at a certain time. And it's not like they extended the shuttle hours because that would make sense for them to do that and the last shuttle should have left at like 12 stuff could have gave me more time to sit in the cafe and eat and then came back outside to or I could have just got something from the eagle's nest on campus but honestly I didn't even want to be out there long enough longer because I still had some assignments to do and I'm my assignments come first because, yeah, grad school is strict, and these grades got to stay, stay up to par. And that reminds me, I have an assignment due on Tuesday, and I have to sit with somebody and pretend as if I'm, they are the client, and they come to speak to me, and it's like a whole little counselor session. And I got to come up with questions to ask them, and then the following two weeks, we got to do like a two-week update and stuff. We got to write papers. I'm trying to see if, because by the time I realized that we had to find partners, everybody already picked their partners and stuff in class, so there was nobody left 
for me to um ask to do my be my partner to do it. And honestly, I will sit here, I will sit there all day tomorrow, going back and forth, pretending like I'm the client, I'm the counselor and I'm the client, and just edit the video because I have to post it to YouTube. I will do that. I will f figure that out myself. I will ask the question, answer it, ask the question, answer it, ask the question, answer it. I'll probably do like 10 questions and then the following two weeks I'll do the same thing and stuff. But um, yeah, that's where I'm at so far. And maybe I'll show y'all the process tomorrow. And to be honest, I may just record it on my um camera and then just edit like that. I don't I don't know. Maybe I'll just I don't know. Maybe I'll record maybe in the counselor here and then do it do the rest to the other half on the iPad and then send it all to the computer that way and edit it together. That means I have to put on two outfits. I have to put on a suit. I have a suit. I have, I have pants and a blazer. And then, yeah, I could do it. I feel like I could do it. But if she allows me to do an, an alternate assignment for it, hey, look. Oh, I showed y'all my lip. I'm going to take that part out. But, yeah. So, y'all could see part of my lip. I'm definitely not posting this video. But, yeah. So, Maybe I'll come back tomorrow. Okay, mommy. So go ahead and get your Paw Patrol egg. You got it. We get home, you ask me to open it. Of course, I'll open it for you. What's inside? Said jelly beans and sticker. Crew says, I can't play with that. Y'all, look at my lip. I said, Crew, I told you there was no toy in there. You wanted that. It's a burn mark. I told you get the Kinder egg. Said no. I fell asleep me in the store saying, no, on my no, heating pad. Like now we're home. And he's like, so oh, now. I'm kinder egg because he couldn't play with the, with the stickers inside his And y'all, when I tell y'all my lip was looking crazy, no. Saturday morning I woke up with a fat ass lip. Like, it was so. That shit was so burnt. But yeah. Maybe, maybe if you're good but, at school today. I'm gonna get back to y'all tomorrow. The time right now is 11:28. It's Wednesday, February 28th. Tomorrow is leap year. Every four years is leap year. Ooh, leap day. I mean, but yeah. I need to figure out a way to clear all of this stuff off of this memory card because I'm running out of space. I'm going to have to start deleting some of the stuff. Half the stuff that's on here is already posted on my channel. So, yeah. The last time I picked up the camera was Sunday. I think y'all seen my lip. Or well, I probably was like half like this. But, yeah. But I'll pick the camera back up. I wanted to record what I do at my internship. I wanted to record what I do at my internship, but... I realized that I had to write up in order for me to do that and um, and get the I because you know they they're the same age as me the the um the adults that I work with but they comprehension levels is a little low. I wish I could talk freely about the situation, but I feel like they're not going over. But that's just my a personal opinion. Not, I mean, they all going somewhere, but this program is not doing nothing for them, realistically. But anyways, I wanted to put the camera up and show what I've been doing with them for a little bit. Like, we do workshops. Um, some of them are independent, and they could be on their own, but some of them have to be, like, maybe if they lived in an independent living facility, to where they like because this place that i worked at when i was back home i think like summer of 2022 
either 2020 yes yeah, summer 2022 i worked at an independent living uh it was called a, a community habilitation for adults with intellectual disabilities the age range was from i think 22 to 60 something every floor was different so you got one floor is the low level the the two lower levels so let's say two three and four were the ones that's in the bus that's that's like dependent you gotta go you gotta clean you gotta clean you gotta sit in the house while they clean and then you have to make their food because they're not gonna remember the food is on the stove even though the food is on the stove and they can see it so that's what that was and then you got five six and seven those who are very independent where they you call them and they come downstairs to take their medicine but the other ones you got to call them and or if you don't call them, you got to go upstairs and get them but i feel like those students there's only a couple of them that need to be in a living uh, independent living facility because like the age that they are they'll soon be 30 in a couple years and there there's not a lot of programs for them you have to be a certain age when you're in these programs you age out of these programs and it's like in my personal opinion the one person i don't and, think but it's like i really can't do nothing much because i'm not trained in that area i want to be a counselor they i don't i mean i'm kind of a counselor but for students with intellectual disabilities but i'm not really prepared and like certified enough to help her i haven't read her they have this thing where it's called iep where um it has a list of the issues that you have like whether you have a developmental the delay um autism uh physical disabilities mental disabilities any type of disability it shows up in your your chart and your paperwork so and it's best for the person that you're working with it's best to have that paperwork so you can understand where they are at and how to help them It's about to be March on Friday. It's about to be March on Friday. And we haven't received it. But you know, I think it's more of a case of we're new. I'm a new mentor here at this program, so I might not be trusted with the paperwork or trusted with the information, but <sighs> Yeah. But anyways, I wanted to give y'all a glimpse of what I do with them and the workshops and all this other stuff. We have an independent living for uh, a room and stuff, a sink, bathroom, shower, bed to show them how to make up the bed. I've been teaching them how to budget their money so when they if they do decide to live on their own and not with like a sibling or a grandmother or a mom, they know how to they know how much it is to go grocery shopping, whether it's grocery shopping every week or every two weeks, how much they have to pay a month for their phone bills how much is rent what job they're going to have that pays them enough so that they could sp split their money down evenly to pay for all their things that whether they're going to have netflix um internet all of that you know plays a part into budgeting and stuff and then money on a, if they're going to cook or if they're going to spend their money out like on outside food and stuff um we also did workshops on learning the type of um, personalities they have i just worked with a student on that last week i set the camera up for that but i deleted the video because you couldn't really hear me and it was too far and then also i would need to write up a contract to send to their parents and i don't think i don't think that's best because my page is it's a channel i vlog i may do no i will never i don't i'm not gonna say never say never but i'm not looking forward to doing any pranks because i don't want nobody to prank me so why would i prank anybody unless it's like a little harmless prank that's a little one two but not the um, extra pranks that people be doing on here but um yeah little vlogs and try on hauls and then I also like to talk talk freely so not cursing all the time but cursing and 
and expressing how I feel about certain situations, whether I'm complaining or not, but these situations is real life to me, and I don't want nobody to take anything out what I of take anything of what I said and personalize it and think that I'm talking about them in any shape or form because I'm not. And then sometimes I have opinions and then I feel like my opinion is my opinion. And I said what I said and I feel like if I have an opinion, it's no right or wrong to the opinion. Hey, listen, I could be wrong, but it's my opinion. And then, and I'm not apologizing for my opinion and my personal feelings, but that's just me. So, yeah. But I'm about to go ahead and delete some of these, like some of this stuff on the off this camera, and then I'll pick the camera back up tomorrow. So it's gonna be like this. This I really, I really wanted to do like a like one of those weekly vlogs. So I start vlogging Sunday and then to next Sunday and then no no yeah start start vlogging from Sunday because the the um week starts every Sunday the new week starts every Sunday so Sunday to Saturday post Sunday to Saturday post but that means I have to actually do stuff because I really don't be doing nothing but watching TV my assignments going to school for my internship but then I'm about I keep saying I'm not doing nothing but I'm supposed to be starting work that's what they keep telling me I'm supposed to be starting work but I haven't started nothing so yeah I'll see y'all in the next clip Hey y'all, I'm at my internship. Um, they gonna lunch. My student is in the, um, the little kitchen area eating. And I'm gonna show y'all how I do my scarf. That's what I'm gonna do. I need to get a haircut. Like I cut the, um, the parts out that had the, uh, the texturizer on it but I'm waiting for the hair I mean I'm not gonna I don't have to cut all my hair off I'm just waiting for more hair to grow for the texturizer so I could cut some more but this is how my hair looks so far like I'm finna just cut it shave it all off I mean I look good with short hair regardless so I look cute period boo no let me put this scarf on my head it don't usually it usually don't take me that long so this is how it started off like this Make sure it's even. Hold on, let me stand up. I just hope it don't give me a headache. Could that be the issue? Okay, so it's like this. Usually, when I when I had hair, I will put a make a bun there, and then I'll put the bun at the back of my head, and then I'll um, put the scrunchie around it so that it could stay tight. But I don't have a scrunchie, so go like this. Twirl it, twirl it, twirl it, twirl it. Until it's like, yeah. Usually my arms get mad tired when I do this. Okay. <laughs> Spring is near. Okay. Tighten it. I just don't want to get a headache. Mm -hmm. <sighs> My 
arms. And usually, obviously, when I had more hair, I was able to push it up so y'all could see the baby hairs. But um, I don't know how that's funny. I don't want the hair just to fall off. <laughs> this is what it's giving. Honestly, I might take this off my head for real. But let me see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's giving, take this off my head. Cause it's about to give me a headache. But y'all, the other day I was on Instagram and I came across the song that I ain't hear forever. I ain't hear this song in forever. I hope, uh, I'm gonna play a little clip. I find myself a sponsor to fill up my drink for me, to fill up my tank for me, to put something in the bank for me. A sponsor is in the chair, in my hair. He go and ba ba bye bye. Dentist corner boy. I don't even care. As long as he don't say ba ba bye bye. He ain't no square. And Louis drop the Louis drop the Louis in my lap. Mama made a say. Go, 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 say, yeah, 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 I find myself a sponsor. Nah, that was the song. Tierra did her thing on that. The fact that her career literally stopped there was crazy. Like, she was putting out songs, but y'all remember when she was signed to Rock Nation? It was... During that time, it was uh, a Mary, a Mary, a Mary, a Mary, Tierra Marie, and Rihanna. Only one person became a billionaire, Rihanna. And he was, I'm not sure if um, a Mary was, what you call it, signed to Rock Nation, but I know who Tierra was, because when they made me boys a friend who know how to make a girl feel. Don't wanna make a girl feel, make her feel good. All I wanna know is there any boys around who know how to make a girl feel. Don't wanna make a girl feel, make her feel good. All I wanna know is there any boys around who know how to make a girl feel. On that song, Jay Z said, "This is the princess of Rock Nation." So the princess didn't take off. The princess became Rihanna. I mean, good investment. They seen he seen what her career was gonna be like, but I guess Tierra though, she was on the run. I ain't have no daddy around when I was growing up. I didn't like that song, but that was that was like I think that could have been the one that be like, yeah, stop. But yeah, I'm bored and my internship just looking dumb. And this lip, my lip is taking forever to heal from this burn. I'm putting ointment on it, and you're telling me you're not clearing up? I gotta take pictures tomorrow. Pictures tomorrow. I'm gonna be taking pictures with this mask on. Because what? Why the heck would I? First of all, why would I want to even take pictures with this on my lip? That's a question that needs to be answered. 
I'll come and support, but I'm not taking no picture. Are you crazy? Are you dumb? But yeah. Now I'm gonna sit here and, oh, this is another song. This is a new song that I came across. Chico Russ. I just discovered his song on Instagram literally two days ago, and I've been playing that song nonstop. But yeah, it's Thursday, and I'm finna be up doing assignments tonight. And I swear, I'm not doing nothing this weekend. And tomorrow, the first episode of BMF come back on. I think it's season three. Yes. Waiting a long time for this season to come back. But I'm going to be up all night to 1 o'clock in the morning waiting for BMF to come on. I got other shows I need to watch too. But yeah. So, I'll be back. I'm back in my room. I feel like... Hey, the brightness is looking crazy. Right. In the cut with my twin, we be vibing. I know every single time y'all see me, I always have this on. It don't be cold, but it's just comfort, comforting. And then I'm sitting on, I'm sitting on this, the very same heating pad that burnt my lip, that I fell asleep on, that took, that beer that almost took my lip off. And I'm finna eat me some food. I'm really not finna eat more But, um, internship was cool. I feel like the one thing that we had to work on with the students is following directions. Because we go in this room and... Hold on, let me pause this. We go in this room, and in this room is a whole bunch of stuff that professors from pre from the previous years would just leave their stuff, and they won't throw none of it out. They'll just leave it there, and it's boxes full of stuff. So once the students go to their work sites and they get their volunteer sessions in and work, they come back after lunch. They'll go upstairs or go to the room, and there's we would I would tell them, me and the other mentor was tell them to go through the box. Damn, y'all can't even see me. Like I gotta come closer. We would tell them to go through the box, look through don't take nothing out of the binders. It's binders full of paper from 2008, 7, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, maybe even 13. But old paperwork with the names, we would tell them just rip the name off. And put everything in the garbage. Like, still put the binder in the garbage with the ripped paper. Put it in the garbage. Don't take none of the papers out of the binder. And they would take the binders, go to the table, open them, take the paper out, and rip all the papers. So, we need to focus on following directions now. And then, today, I told them, we're still doing the same thing because it was a lot of boxes. I said, when y'all finish putting the binders and the papers in the garbage, because if y'all going to take the papers out, just... don't. I said, don't take the papers out of the binders. Just rip the name off. You don't even have to go through all of it. Just rip the name off the front page because there's no names on the other page. just the front page. And just put it straight in the bin. As well with the binder. Don't keep any binders because the binders are old. They are faded. They are ripped. Just put them in the garbage. And once you are done putting all that in the garbage, take the boxes and break them down. Take the boxes, break them down. Don't step on it. 
take them apart, fold it, and put it inside the bin neatly so that there's more space to put more stuff in the thing. And the box don't get broken down. They start moving over to the other boxes. Do not, and I'm like, do not touch those boxes. Just break down these boxes first and put them in there. They're doing everything else but listening to the instructions and trying to go to the other box. And I feel like you have to be, and remember, these are students my age. So they're 26, 27, even older than me. I feel like you have to be stern with them when you're, when you're telling them certain things. Because they don't grasp what you're asking. It's like, even though you break it down, like, another, there's another situation. One of the students, he's 18, so he's just, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. We have a stu We have another student who, I can't talk freely. Okay, because they're going to find my page. And as I said yesterday, the other day, I don't want to talk and say something where somebody feel like what I said is like mean or anything because literally, I'm not trying to be mean. This is what I deal with. And I feel like these students are not getting the, the help that they need. I'm not certified enough to help them. Me, I, I want to be a counselor. This is giving me experience because this is my internship and I have to have 300 hours in order to graduate by May 2026. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, y'all. Ooh. That's salty. All right. I'm going to finish this, finish watching my show, and I may or not come back. I may come back or I may not. I may continue this tomorrow. And tomorrow we're supposed to be taking a photo, so maybe I'll take y'all with me to, the, to school to take a photo. I got to dress nice and everything. I don't want to, like, come on. I got to put on a, a blazer, a shirt, and some pants. Come on. My hair not even done. And I got this thing on my lip. Bro. Be for real. Be so fucking for real. But yeah, let me go. Oh, what's today's day? Oh, leap day. February 29th. 5.13 p.m. is Thursday. Nah, I don't know what that, I don't know what that was. I keep doing that. Like a little onion. Got, got garlic sauce, uh, lemon pepper. Okay. Mm. Gonna do a lemon pepper fried chicken. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Buffalo, I, man. <laughs> I don't know nothing about that. Yeah, you can make beer batter fried chicken. Bread you don't know nothing about the beer you batter. Drink, huh? You gotta drink a little bread bit of beer. Threw me off. Yeah, the bread, I don't know nothing about the bread. Don't drink beer. Why you cooking? And eggs, you crazy? Why not? I don't. Bread from yeah, eggs, yeah. mixing why it together not? and dipping but it. I've seen. When you cook I've seen. Wine, yeah. Do that, but I've never seen. You cook with wine. Yeah. Mm. But I have seen it done before. The bread crumbs I don't feel like are necessary because you have flour. Mm -hmm. Making it extra crispy, but you know I do like an extra extra crisp. <laughs> so maybe a little burn around take, edges. You know, maybe I gotta take that advice with a little breadcrumb for a little extra crunch. You know, I don't know. Mm. Mm. That sounds crazy, don't you? <laughs> that sounds crazy. I mean, how you fry chicken? Clean the chicken. Mm -hmm. That was my first talk to him. Seasoning. Yeah. Damn, Flour. Uh huh. Put that in that grease. Uh huh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have the grease heating up while mm -hmm. I'm preparing everything else. Yeah. I'm gonna wash the chicken. So by the time you take it I'm out, that flour. The flour. Mm hmm. You gotta do. Put your hand nice on the and nice and brown. Yeah. Ten minutes past two o'clock. Are we supposed to start making the photos now? That's. You know what? It's like you read my mind. Go ask out this problem. We taking our pictures. It's two ten. I'm three o'clock is the cutoff. I got things to do. Three o'clock is the cutoff. <laughs> Nigel, what, 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 what's your, what you doing today? 
today. Yeah. You know, when I leave here. Mm-hmm. No, when you stay. See where I gotta be. Yeah. Um. When I leave here, I'm going home. As you should. Take a nice shower and put a little comfort. I work I work I work this weekend. Well uh I got a work from Dax Fight. The photographer's uh running late? a little late. So why we don't get word. Man. Mm -hmm. Y'all know how we better hurt on. Wait a minute. Wait, where you gotta go after this? Where you where you going? Um uh Dave. Nowhere. Post. I just hope he gets here. Oh. oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well you know May Mom gonna be here three on a dot. Mm-hmm. So y'all got about fifty minutes. Yeah, that's what? <laughs> oh, y'all gotta go now? Uh, no. Uh, At three, she's gonna be ready to pull off. Yes. Okay. So does Dr. Spry, like, know that? Yeah. <laughs> Her mom is sitting outside waiting for them. <laughs> oh, no. Be like, What's that get so long? Bruh, I would leave. I never seen her roll like, What's going on? I got things to do. She's ready to go. I know. Okay. She's ready to go. Is her that bad to take a picture of like... Can Photographer running late, no faculty here. <laughs> what is this for? Marketing? Yeah, that's I mean, crazy. Coppin State's psycho psychology and department. Game, and uh, like, and uh, Nigel, you plan to help youth across America? Could it? I can't. Could it? Yeah, yeah you know, becoming the next no. new generation of terrorists. Yeah, man. It's a better day. I thought it was really You still stuck with this terrorist world? No. No, it was today. today. Yeah. Yeah. I get like spam emails. Mm -hmm. oh, remember, remember. Well, and nobody like, here who got into I was like, girl, and just for this. It's just a passion. Really? Just, just, just for this. Like, oh, we... Yeah, I, I don't have nothing to do on Fridays. This is my day off. Oh. Uh, mm, no no internship. No. Ah! <laughs> Sorry. You could, be, you could be excited about that. Yeah, no Take internship. <laughs> Dude. I do nothing to internship. And do you know so they be happy they got Fridays either. At the bear school, I do nothing. It's a terrorist group. Yeah, I'm not I literally just sit there for yeah. two hours. Hey, have you heard about the attack in Israel? Like, I'm in the gym, they, I'm, I'm sitting there like this, like at gymnasium, just like, oh. Hey, one o'clock hits him. That's the reason why the Middle East wants to go to war. <laughs> in the gym, he was like, you leave at one o'clock? Yep. I bet you paid the hour. Yeah, why would I stay? Yeah, oh, like, no. Nah. Once 12 59 hit, I'm leaving. I'm out the mat. They my got you over the there standing? Who? The bear school. I mean, it ain't no, nothing I for you. Down. I don't no, I <laughs> yeah, let me turn this camera off before this get too much. It's the next day, y'all. This is what I wore for pictures. My hair looked crazy after I cut the rest of that stuff off. So I had to put this on. It should be a study of how I can get this thing on my head and not have no hair to support it. But this is what I'm wearing. I'm about to show y'all in the um, bathroom. It's a real, I wear this all the time. I couldn't find my black scarf. So I was able to only find a blue one, these pants. And we, the pictures that we took, the pictures that we took, I'm thinking we about to take class photos. Everybody stand, smile one, so that's it. Nah, we had to take professional photos, like engage, you had to talk so they could kind of like paint a picture and then we just like, okay. But yeah, this is what I wore. Got my little ass so my chest cause I'm ready to save them. Name earrings, you know. This is what I put on. Now I'm about to eat some food. I'm about to show y'all what I got for dinner. Hold on. That's country fried steak, mashed potatoes, and corn. It's steak sauce on top of it, and I put some hot sauce on there, so. It has like a little stench, but yeah. And I got my drink and my water over there. But yeah. I'm gonna come back when I take my stuff off and sit in the bed so we could talk. Cause today is Friday and we're gonna have us a little girl talk Friday, recapping for the stuff that was on social media for the week. Okay? See you in the next clip. Oh.
one workout video. Hey y'all, I'm back. Smart. But yeah, I'm back. And we're gonna get into this video because yeah. So what is I about to start with? With the I'm not I don't know if this a like girl talk cool no, but I feel like half the stuff I be talking about is so redundant. But I feel like everybody is so I'ma just make it a key point. So last week I told y'all that the lady that I work with told me that I should work with kids. And I said that I, at first I wanted to work with uh, couples. I wanted to do couples therapy. But then I'm just really thinking about it. And I'm like, I'm just going to refrain from doing couples therapy because I feel like everything is so self-explanatory. And at this point, I feel like people in relationships... They keep, if you got to keep repeating the same, same things over and over and over to your partner, they don't care. Because I promise you they heard you the first time. I promise you they heard you the first time. They just don't give a damn to correct their behavior. They don't care. Like, never teach anybody how to love you, how to treat you, how to, how to um, care about your feelings. Because they know. They know. If you give them a fair warning the first time, that's cool. But if they don't correct their behaviors so that it won't be a second time where you have to repeat yourself, clean slate. Just let it go. Just let that shit go. Let it go. Where's the salt? I got some salt and pepper. Like, it just, it just don't make sense. Like... I feel like a lot of couples, they just be in, they be in a relationship so long. Let's say a couple's in a relationship for like, what, eight years. They be in a relationship for eight years. And you telling me, I don't know, eight years, your partner ain't been doing the right thing since the day you met them. But because you came this far in this relationship, almost finna be a decade, you like, you just gonna stick it out and see if uh counseling can help baby it's not gonna help it's not gonna help because if literally if you literally been with that person since the first day and it's eight years later then they still have that same behavior they never cared to begin with and you never set that boundary like i don't know i feel like it just really be common sense y'all should have broke up into year three you waited all this, like, you wasted your time and you think you you just want to be in, in a relationship because you don't want to start over. It, I don't know what to tell you. Half that stuff be common sense. It's like, if it don't make sense, why are you trying to make it make sense? It's not meant to make sense with you. It's not going to make sense. you trying to make it make sense. You're trying to make something out of nothing. Just let it go. And and that be the issue. I don't want to let it go. So many excuses. Just let it go. Everything don't need to be complicated. You're just making it complicated. The red flags just be there. You just... Let me, let me see if I could change this person to be the way... Like, you're trying to build that person. In, like, no. It's not. It's not going to happen like that. Because, guarantee you, he's treating you like this. Because he wants you to break up with them. And then when you break up with them, they usually always go to the next person and treat them the way you wanted them to treat you. And that shit gonna hurt. Why is my camera dying? I'm so confused. It's, on, it's really on, on one bar. I just opened it. My lip is clearing up. Ow! Y'all almost had a heart attack. I really thought I lost my um blistex. I'm like, but I just bought this. Mm. Yummy. I like mashed potatoes. What else I was gonna talk about? I had it in my head. 
when I was turning the camera on, but now I lost it once I turned the camera on. I don't know. But couples therapy is looking like a no. I feel like once you reach the age of 25, you should know what to do and what not to do, especially if you're in a relationship. Like stuff be so clear. This stuff could be right there on the board. You looking at it. You see it. It's present. But I feel like they just go up there and wipe it off the board on purpose so they won't have to see nothing. Like it's like the that little meme of DW when it's saying something and she be like, Jokes on you because I can't read. That's what I be feeling like. It be there and y'all just be going over it. I don't think stuff ever have to be that hard. And you know what it is, I'm starting to realize. I don't have the patience anymore. Because I feel like, matter of fact, let me just say it like this. I'm not giving nobody advice on anything pertaining to their um, friendships, relationships. Because I feel like y'all stupid. You're stupid. Stop asking me for advice if you're not going to take my advice. Just stop doing it. I feel like if you got to come to me as the last resort for advice, you know what I'm going to say. And if I'm the last resort, that means I'm going to be right. But if you'll be asking me my advice to be like, I hear you, I'm going to do it, can I do it? Stop asking me shit. I don't want to hear that shit no more. I don't want to hear it no more. Because at a point in time, you have to understand. Do you really think it's fair that you keep coming to this person asking them for their two cents? And you never take it. Is that considerate? I don't know. It just doesn't make sense to me. That's just stupid as hell. Oh, and you know what I learned? Well, if it's three people in the friend group, well, it's not going to say I learned this, but I'm just realizing. If it's three people in the friend group and you get into an argument with one of the friends, just cut both of them off. Nine times out of ten, they're talking shit about you. They're talking shit about you. Even if you didn't do nothing wrong, they're talking shit about you. And no matter who been friends with who the longest, if it's been three of y'all in a relationship, friendship, and you get into an argument with this one, even if you've known this one longer, but these two built their friendship over the years, just remove yourself from the friendship. Because nine times ten, they're going to talk about you. And it might even be like, no, I'm not talking about you. I don't put myself in the middle. Already been put in the middle, cause yeah. Just remove yourself. It's not even worth it. Cause this person gonna have to always walk on eggshells. And it's gonna always have to Reassure both these two people that they ain't got shit to do with what's been going on between these two. Reassure this person, you got to sit there and listen while this person may be shit talking this person, or this person may be shit, shit talking this person. Even though it probably won't ever happen that way, just be safe and let that shit go.
I got shit though. I've been in that situation before in high school. It was three of us and it had two. We all came in together as freshmen on the track team. But in this case, I swear to God, I was the peacemaker. I don't, I never was the one to sit there and let one person talk about that person. Like, this is, we're going to call this one B, Beatrice, and we're going to call this one Clarice. I was never the one to sit there while Clarice was talking shit about Beatrice. And if she started, at, at, stop talking. I don't want to hear none of that. You're not about to sit here and put me in the middle. Even though I'm in the middle, but I am the peaceful middle. The peaceful middle. You're not, if you want to talk shit about Beatrice, you're going to go tell Beatrice yourself. Don't sit here and talk to me about Beatrice. Because at the end of the day, you know that's my friend. And the same thing goes to Beatrice. Don't sit there and talk no shit about Clarice to me. Because, and y'all doing this for me to go back and forth and be a messenger. I'm not nobody's messenger. I'm, I'm not. I'm not doing it. I always try to keep the peace. Always try to keep the peace. At the end of the day, towards the end of the school year, Clarice ended up, stop talking to me. But hey, dog, never once bad mouth Clarice. None of that. had to coexist because we was all on the same team in school but that's how I always seen it if you don't want to put yourself in the middle don't sit there and let them two talk about each other to you because now you just eating that well if she said all of this to me about me to you why didn't you defend me and the same thing goes for that so it's like they're expecting you to pick sides. And to me, I feel like it don't even matter. You don't need to pick sides. I'm going to let you choose a side. I'm just going to stop talking to you. And at this point, it's bad. And I'm just like, I really don't give a fuck no more. I really don't give a fuck. I really don't care. And it could be a, a part of my uh, who I am as a person, characteristics, whatever the fuck. Personality. I don't care no more. I don't care. And I'm also getting to that point where I feel like if anything you're talking about, if you're talking about your relationship to me and anything, friendships, who did you wrong, and I told you all this shit was coming, I'm straight up going to be like, I don't give a fuck. Stop talking to me about it. I don't care. I don't care. I had a friend who was in this situation with this person. And I said to her, don't talk to me about this person. I don't care. I told you about this person char char character years ago when we first met the person. You did not want to believe nothing I said. The signs were there. I told you. But these are the type of people that need to learn from themselves. And I feel like if someone is trying to help you, why not just take the help? Why not just take the help? I never understood that. Like, I feel like people don't observe other people's... Well, I, I can't say people don't do that because they could be doing it. I'm not in their thought process. I don't know what their thought process is. But I would be like, listen, I don't want to be around you or this person. If you, you're going to be around this person, that's cool. We can hang out, but I don't want to hang out with you and this person because I don't like this person. I don't like his um, personality. I don't like the way he talk. He or she talk to you. I don't like any of that. And I see that behavior. It's just weird. It's weird to be around somebody like that. It's like, we're not, ooh, I would have lost this charm, bro. Whoa, is it broke? I think my charm broke. Oh, no, it didn't. It's confusion. Oh, I think it might have broke. Oh, shit. But I, I'm like, nah, I can't do it. Come to find out, I was always right. I was always right. And, I, and the thing is, I don't ever try to be the one to be like, I told you so. I don't ever try to be the one to be judgmental. But I feel like 
if you keep putting yourself in these situations, like you see, hold on. I don't know. Um, I'm not sure what this. It says. No, this is not what I'm talking about. Somebody who constantly puts themselves in situations where they know it's going to be bad. Like, I don't know. I don't know how to say it. I don't even know if I'm saying it right. Never do, but never do I ever try to judge people or what they do. I try to offer my advice to give them the best, it, like, to, to at least give them that sense of Okay, if you're looking for advice, this is what I think you should do. You don't have to take my advice, but if you wanted, this is what I think you should do. I mean, it's the it's the constant it's the constant coming to it for coming coming to me for advice for something that I already gave you advice for, but then you're still not taking the advice. But it's it's like you keep venting to me about a bad situation and over after after so many times like I'm going to get tired of hearing the same situation over and over and over and you're not doing anything to make the situation better. I don't know if that is a a good thing or a bad thing as a fun. I don't know. I don't like the way my school cook because why the corn keep getting stuck? Corn is supposed to be chewable. That shit getting stuck in my teeth. It don't make no sense. But, yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'll keep doing couples therapy in the back of my mind. But I be feeling like half the stuff people go through, they don't have to go through that. And I'm not talking about the, my camera is dying. I'm gonna put on the charger and I'm gonna come back and finish this conversation. Okay, so the time right now is 2.24 a.m. I'm about to do a workout. Oh. Yeah, I'm about to do a workout. It's gonna be some quick though. It's gonna be, let's see. I'm gonna do 20 squats, 10 push-ups, 20 calf raises and 15 crunches right here in the comfort of my room because your girl got social anxiety and who finna go downstairs in that gym? Not me. I don't want nobody talking to me. I'm not saying they're gonna, they're gonna talk to me, but I don't want nobody talking to me. I don't even want nobody breathing next to me. I don't wanna hear nobody breathing. I don't even wanna see nobody in the room. But that's just me and my pee. And that's just me. So I'm gonna set this up right here. I'm about to film it for TikTok. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put it on the floor. I'm gonna start off with some push-ups, but that's 
not my side of the room, so we're gonna. My bed is over there. But yeah, I hope I hope y'all can see me. I'm gonna go like that. Hey you guys, I'm gonna do a workout. I'm gonna do it right here in my room. No, I don't like the way that sound. You hear me? I don't like the way that sound. It's 2.26 in the morning and I'm gonna do a workout. I'm not going downstairs to the gym because it would be a whole bunch of people in there at all times. And yeah, I'm not gonna do that to myself. I got social anxiety, so I'm gonna start off. So I'm gonna do 20 squats, 10 push-ups, 20 calf raises, 15 crunches. So we're gonna start off with some push-ups. Ten of them, right? I'm gonna go right here. Y'all can see me. y'all up here mm -hmm. put y'all right here all right twenty squats okay let's see mm -hmm. calf raises and 15 crunches. All right, now it's time for the calf raises. Now we finna do some calf raises. 20 of them. Make sure our feet are straight, legs. Shit's hurt. All right. Fifteen crunches. What's crunches? I forgot what the crunches look like. We gonna look on YouTube. Let's see. Crunches. Get into some crunches. 
by the look. Strengthen abdominals and other core muscles. They help with things like getting out of bed and support your lower back. Place your hands behind your head and relax your neck. Right. Your elbows should be pointed out from the side for the entire exercise. Tighten and use your stomach muscles to lift your head and shoulders off the floor about three to four inches. Remember not to tuck your chin to your chest. This helps keep a neutral position. Hold for two seconds. Slowly lower your head and shoulders back to the start position for one full repetition. Do eight to 12 repetitions for one set. Increase the number of sets as you get stronger. To add a boost to this workout, twist your torso as you Who the hell is doing that? So your left elbow reaches towards your right knee. Not me. With your right elbow towards your left knee. But, yeah. So, I was actually giving this workout in October and I started doing it for a whole week. But, um, I stopped. And, like, yeah. So, shout out to that boy on Instagram who I asked to, um, because he, he, he's always in the gym. So, I'm like, yeah, I'm trying to gain some, you know, some, what you call it? What's these called? Some, some muscle. So by the time the summer get here, I had that little summer ball, summer ball. But he gave me that and then he said, do those and then add to, he said, do those for a week and then add two to every workout every week for about a month. And then this will get you ready for the habit of actually being at the gym. Yeah, sorry, but I, did, I didn't go to the gym. I just, I did it for a week. I did it for two weeks actually, and yeah, that's my ass stopped. So we about to get into these crunches. Okay, I'm trying to see if I'm gonna put y'all on the floor though. Yeah, I'm gonna put y'all on the floor. And let's see. I need them to see me on the phone. I can't put y'all there. I mean. I'm gonna put them over here. Okay, let's see. Let me take these fucking glasses off. Like, I feel like the um, crunches was ass. So, to make up for it, I'm finna do some sit ups. I've always struggled with doing sit ups because I can't get my ass up. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. 
Let me see. Yeah, can't do sit ups. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'm done, y'all. I need to change my shorts because I'm on a dirty floor. Let me fix this camera. So yeah, that was a quick little workout. I'm supposed to do that every night. So now I'm about to edit this video. But 15 crunches. Um, I hope my um, chest don't be caving in tomorrow morning. Okay. They said 90 degrees. Oh. Y'all really can't see, but y'all see the legs. Now we finna do some calf. I ain't gonna lie, them calf, them calf um, things was hurting my ass. <laughs> okay, I'll head over to Tiki, the little Tiki. Because while we was in Qatar, ladies and gentlemen, it was Chunks' birth. Nah, y'all, people been unfollowing me on TikTok. I went from having 1,015 followers to just 1,000. And I feel like the only way you're able to go viral on TikTok is if you say some dumb shit. Something with drama. What? What? Not they muted my video. That's crazy. <laughs> anyway, let me um I'm gonna add these in here. Why did she say twenty? I'm confused. It's 2.26 in the morning and I'm gonna do a workout. It's 2.26 in the morning and I'm gonna do a workout. I see y'all new. I'm not gonna It's been a stressful, hectic as week and a half. Because I know y'all seen in my other vlogs where I talk about my working situation. So I started working, right? But that's not the issue, right? So when I came to school and before I graduated, I said, let me see if graduate students can get work study. Because why not? Like, even if I didn't get work study, I would have been fine. I would still have a job because... The lady I work with for my internship, I work with her. So they said, yes, graduate students do get work study. So I said, okay, I want to put my name in for work study. And the person that I work with, she's going to request me. So there's nothing much for me to do except for uh, fill, out the, the, fill out the direct deposit because I have a new banking account and the account number has changed. That's all I would have had to done because I'm already in the system as a work study student from when I was doing undergrad in the same department. So fast forward, my whole financial aid was messed up. So I was supposed to be getting thirty I'm supposed to be getting thirty thousand for financial aid. And then thirty thousand, I think yes, thirty thousand, and then uh twenty thousand. It covers what is it? Whatever was last for the for so I don't know how did I read it, so I got thirty thousand, but everything came up to twenty thousand for the whole school year. So the last ten thousand was supposed to be split, five thousand for the fall, five thousand for the spring, and that was for work study. That's how it was supposed to be. So this is how they was telling me that I didn't have enough for work study. I only got twenty. I only got twenty thousand, and 
if there was no money left over, then there was no need for me to do work. That's what they was telling me this whole time. But I'm like, that's wrong because I can see it on my financial aid. Tell me why the lady who I work with told me because she takes care of everything. She gets in contact with people to make sure we have everything we need. She goes, yeah, so they had you down. I was told that they had you down for the 49-hour credit program instead of the 60 our credit program. So that's possibly what messed up your financial aid. So my thing is, can they not read? Because when I put in my graduation application, not even my graduation application, my application for grad school, it clearly stated what program I was going to be doing. And I specify masters in clinical mental health counseling and rehabilitation. No other program. So how is it that you got that mixed up with the 49 hour credit program? And I'm confused. The semester is over in eight weeks. So at what time will I be able to do work study? Do that even make sense? My school is the most silliest school when it comes to financial aid. Like, how about hire people that's trained to work in financial aid so people can get their financial aid? There should be no reason why you messed up my financial aid for the whole school year and we just now finding this out at the end It's March 8th. We could have had this figured out months ago when I asked, was there an issue with my financial aid? No, nothing's wrong with your financial aid. Everything is fine. Why lie? That be the issue. And you know, it's crazy because I do not stress over these things. I feel like if I cannot, if I cannot fix it myself, why the heck would I even do something about it? I can't fix it. I said what I need to say. I emailed them. I emailed them almost every day, to in order to get the answers that I needed for them to tell me the truth. I gave them the opportunity to tell me the truth, and you just now telling me the truth. They literally told me this Wednesday. Wednesday. And you would think that the lady who told us this will respond back. I sent her an email and said, yes, my so-and-so told me that you told her this is what was happening with my financial aid. Would you be able to give me back a call so we can discuss this? Crickets. Even when the supervisor called and, and emailed her, she called her and then she emailed her crickets. She see, I was CC'd on the email. So it's not like she didn't do it, but it's like, you can't tell me this is what's wrong with this um situation and let's fix it. But then when we're trying to fix it, you don't wanna help. You don't wanna you don't wanna answer the phone. This is crazy. Yo, my face looks crazy. Pores is all open. Like I can't get my pores to close for nothing. This these were right here was two pimples. This one was big, it was hurting, and this one, this was one of those pimples where you squeeze and it'll burst. Then up here was the black spots. Y'all see the hair? It's all patchy in different spots because I kept cutting off the, the texturizer that I put in my hair like two months ago. So, you can see the curls though. So, yeah. And right now I'm about to... Wait for them, waiting for the shuttle to go to school to get some dinner, come back to my room and finish watching the rest of Endgame. And then I'm gonna watch me another scary movie after that. And I'm gonna do my discussion board and my assignment. Well, only got one uh, um, assignment to do because I did the other one the other day. I like doing my assignments early so I have to wait until the weekend to do anything. Cause I like to really just sit in my bed and watch TV like on the weekends. The weekday is different. That's strictly for assignments, weekends, to myself.
But yeah. I need to get them um that skincare thing product. A good molecule. I need to get that because this is crazy. And y'all remember when I said I burnt my lip? I don't know, let me see. It left a mark. It actually looks like a birthmark, so it doesn't bother me. But yeah, they never want to do their job when it comes to the students. And a lot of students are still, you know how you in school and then they have this thing called refund, che refund checks. So whatever, I don't know. I don't know how the refund checks even work, but students get refund checks and a lot of people haven't received their refund checks. And some things are supposed to be handed out in September, October. It's March. And my school too busy. Um, building buildings and statues and whatnot. Like, for what? But yeah. So, I'll be back. Why do people you went to middle school with start randomly texting you? Like, but the thing is, y'all never spoke to each other. And if y'all did, y'all only said a few words, but y'all was never friends in middle school. So why is it that, why well, was about to say 18 years later? Maybe like 15 years later? I don't know. How long ago was middle school? I graduated middle school 2013. So... We're going to go back from the year, maybe 2012. Eleven years? But, like, why are you texting me? And then you, like, you probably won't remember me. I'm so-and-so from middle school. Yeah, I don't remember you. Confused. Why are you texting me? We wasn't friends, so why are you trying to be my friend now? I'm confused. If I talked to you, it was only for a little bit. Like, it wasn't even nothing. It was like a high and by. We wasn't even in the same class. We didn't have the same friends. So, but I don't know. Is that mean? Because, like, no, seriously, why are you texting me? And you know, people from people who randomly start texting you that they went to school with you, they be like, you know, I had a crush on you back in um in elementary school or middle school. I've had that happen to me a few times. Me and this one person we went to school together from elementary school to middle school. And somehow, some way, oh, I had a crush on you when we was in middle school. No the fuck you did it. No the fuck you did it. Cause you like why is you lying? What are you lying about? I'm confused. Like, I'm, like, why are you texting me? Like, I didn't even respond to the message. I just deleted the thread out of the um, Instagram. I'm not, I'm not answering it. Because, for what? Y'all, I've been trying to pick up this camera and do this, um, finish this vlog out. I don't know how long this is going to be. I'm literally uploading every clip. Oh, except for the one where I was talking. I mean, maybe, maybe I'll fast forward through that. But I don't know, y'all. I don't really have nothing to do. So, what is the point of me picking up the, the camera if I don't have nothing to do? I'm not going outside. I'm not doing that. Maybe when it gets, maybe when it gets warmer, then I'll walk down to the harbor and I'll um, record. I just don't want to be bothered by anybody. I would rather stay in my room. I don't even want to walk down to the harbor because it's not a long walk, but I don't just, I just don't feel like walking. But I do want to go to the movies though. This movie came out called Imaginary and I want to see that so bad when I go. I'm going home. Spring break is coming up. Spring break starts this Friday. And yeah. I wanted to go home like yesterday, <laughs> but I have duties to tend to, have an internship to go to, 60 hour credit, 
I'm confused. You're supposed to be doing 60 hours or 300 hours? What is, why is it called a 60 hour credit program? Because if that's the case, 60 hours for the whole two years that I'm in grad school, I done got all my hours in. Like, what? But I guess we start tallying. I was supposed to be been keeping track of my own, my hours. You might see. I lost track of it right up until November when we were home for Thanksgiving. See? November 9th. November 9th was the last day for the CTP for the fall. And then we didn't come back until on the or think or I think I'm bugging. I don't know. My freaking head itches. I put so much oil on my scalp. I can't wait for my hair to go back, y'all. And I really just need to cut the um the the what's those the what's that thing called out? Texturizer. I really needed to cut it out. My hair is so, sh like, so much, because I cut, I literally cut to where the texturizer was. Because some parts of my hair took the texturizer, some parts of my hair did it. And whatever it took, it might have been, like, all the way down to, like, the root, where it was straight. And I'm like, I'm going to just let it um grow out. So, and then when it gets longer, then I'll cut the ends where it was, cut the ends where it's still um straight. I did not wait for that. I just cut that shit myself. I wish I I should have showed you how much hair I had cut off the first time. No, but it was like it wasn't even like the first time. I didn't really cut. I mean, well, every single time I washed my hair, more hair came out. So I'm like, well, and then for some reason I felt like I had to wash my hair almost every day because of how bad my scalp was itching. No, I did not have lice. But that's how it felt. Like I had to scratch, like was itching my head real bad. And then, you know, I'm like, you know what, I'm bored. I'm just going to look and cut whatever is straight. And then, yeah. I think some parts are long. Well, some parts are long. I wanted to go get a haircut, but I'm like, nah. I like my edges too much to be getting it cut off again. And you see right here on the edges part, some of the parts are straight. See, this part right here is straight. And I ain't want to cut it down. The only way I would be able to, um... Just had to cut the whole hair off that, like last time, and I ain't feel like doing all of that. But yeah, but yeah, I don't know, y'all. From the last time y'all see me, I was talking about how um they finally told me that the reason why my financial aid was messed up was because they had me down for the forty nine credit hour program instead of the sixty hour credit program, sixty one. I think it was 61 hour credit program. And it's like, I'm in the, 60 hour, the 61 hour credit program. That's longer than the 49 credit program. So if I ask for financial aid for the 60 hour credit program, why? And because they thought I was in the other program, they cut my financial aid short and was probably like, why she need all of this money if she only gonna be in school for this amount of time? She asked for too much money. Y'all need to read. Y'all need to look at them um applications. I mean, I read because I turned in my graduation, not the graduation, my application for grad school, and it specifically said what I was coming to the school for, the program that I chose, and how many credit hours the school the program was for as well, and the classes, and how much. Y'all need to read. You need to leave. Or in this case, you need to read. Either or goes hand in hand um, tomorrow I have a quiz I really didn't have much work to do this uh, this past weekend I had an assignment due that was that was that's due on March 12th I did that and I turned it in it was only one page so I was happy to do that one of my other classes we didn't have to do um, a discussion board because the professor was having like a, a, a medical emergency with his family so that was that was good and then the other one didn't have a discussion that class is the one that i did the assignment for and then the regular discussion for that one class i did that one i did that i stayed up 
all the way until up until four four o'clock in the morning on Friday. I think on Friday or Saturday, one of those days. And I turned it in. And then I responded Saturday to two people before twelve o'clock twelve AM. Yeah, and got that out the way. So I'm trying that's what I'm trying to do. Before I go home, I'm trying to do all that all that um the assignments and stuff. So that I don't have to do nothing on the weekends when I go home this week. I mean, I mean, if I have to, that's okay because then I have the whole week off. Mm. My goodness. It's just black spot after black spot after black spot. Black spot only coming because it's hair. Mm-hmm. Nah, my hair look crazy. That's exactly why I keep this hat on 24-7. If I didn't put that texturizer in my, texturizer in my hair, I would have had a little afro, y'all. Too bad I messed that up. But that's okay. We live and we learn. It is what it is. Um, But you know what? I got these three dresses. I don't know if I showed y'all, but... I'm going to do a little four dress try on haul for y'all. Yeah, I don't know. But, um, this is going to be the end of this vlog because I think i just been prolonging this. And in the other clips, y'all saw that I was working out and stuff. Y'all, after I did that workout, my hips, like, I'm trying to figure out, is it the hips that you feel? That's sore after you do squats. But whatever it was, I'm about to finish. Show y'all. Oof. This right here was in shambles. Like, I could barely walk. Every single time I got up to bed, I was walking like this. I was like... I was walking just like that to the bathroom. But I've been doing squats. I should have took a before picture. So y'all can see the results after. I mean, but I'm small, so I don't know if you bet if you're gonna see the results. I mean, I don't know. But yeah, this vlog stops here. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for being on this journey of me, journey with me. All y'all see is vlogs. I've been doing vlogs, 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 vlogs. Try on hauls. I'm going to get in my bag when it comes to this. I'm just trying to sort myself out with this work that I'm doing, this job that I'm starting. Because really, no, for real, for real, it's like, what am I even doing? Because they got the paperwork, but then you got to have people to come and fill out the paperwork for, but then nobody is there. So <sighs> what am I getting paid based off of, you know, things of that nature, We're still figuring it out. And then once I start that, then I don't know. Maybe you guys will see more. Yo, I got this pimple. Like, I don't even know where this came from. Like, I could see it from my... Like, what the... F and I had it like this right here it came out of nowhere it was just puffy and then i squeezed it and you know the, the usual came out but i gotta put this camera back on the charger because it's dying so maybe when i come back from dinner i'll ex uh post this video mm. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm looking at my reflection in the mirror, right? And But this right here came out of nowhere. Like, I don't know. They just be coming out of nowhere. Regardless, I don't, I don't care. I'm cute with, whether with blemishes or without blemishes. So that doesn't bother me. I've been having these blemishes for years. Every single time it go away, it come back. I don't know. So... And then right here, like I said before in the other videos, the pores is open. I don't know what to do to get the um the pores to close. I remember going to the dermatologist and I'm like, 
So what should I do? They didn't give me no um no uh no real advice besides put sunscreen on. Like they didn't tell me what I should be doing better to um to use on my face, like anything. Like it was almost as if like they didn't have any experience working with somebody of my skin tone. You know, working with melanin. They work with pale. So the only um advice they gave me was sunscreen. But I guess. Ugh. Because I've been using black soap. I pick in black soap. And yeah. Like I can understand why this is right here because when the hair grows, I don't allow that. I really don't allow it. Like once it gets to the surface, I don't allow it to fully grow out. Because first of all, like I said before, I'm not letting no hair grow on my face. I am not waxing no hair in my face. I did it before when I went to the nail salon for my birthday. I'm not doing that. I would rather go to get laser hair removal on my neck and then start a chemical peel to see. No, no, no. Because... I don't want to walk around with hair on my, like, even though the hair right here, because it's my sideburns, but I miss my skin being how it used to be when I was in middle school, before puberty, shiny. Once puberty came up, I used to get these big old pimples on my nose, nowhere else but the nose, because my skin is like, dry and oily like in the summertime no in the winter time it gets dry but in the summertime it gets oily and it's just like help i need help like i want to try good molecules they got some great products so i want to try i want to try to use that that's i really want to see how that works on my face and i see on somebody that it works so well she got my skin she might she, i think she either my skin complexion or she might be a little bit darker but it works well on her skin so i'm hoping that if when i get it and i start using it it'll work for me but yeah let me go um hopefully this video will be up by tonight and it's gonna be a long video because I don't feel like cutting nothing or editing anything. So whatever you hear is whatever you hear. I might fast forward some parts because some parts might be a little too much confidential. So whatever the part that I um, fast forward, you're just going to hear some music. You're not going to hear nothing on it. Or you might just hear the, the, the talking sped up. It may sound like a silly conversation, but yeah. Peace out.